Hello, everyone. This is Jian Liu, an assistant professor at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I'm very glad to present our latest research on privacy vulnerabilities in distributed learning. Our paper, Speech Privacy Leakage from Shared Gradients in Distributed Learning, was led by my student, Zhuo Hang, and collaborated with Jiaxin from Intuit AI Research. The voice assistants, such as Alexa, Google Assistant, are widely used on smartphones and smart speakers as a natural and convenient means of interaction. They have also been integrated into mobile banking for secure identity verification and hands-free vehicle operation for enhanced convenience and safety. The modern voice user interface is powered by deep neural network, which enables efficient speech processing for many tasks, such as automatic speaker verification and automatic speech recognition. As the performance of these models continues to improve, it is driven by the availability of an ever-growing amount of training data. However, existing models are based on centralized learning, which requires data to be gathered to a central server for training. And this process of collecting data from users is becoming increasingly challenging due to privacy regulations and serious privacy concerns from users. To address this issue, Distributed machine learning has attracted great research attention in recent years. It allows multiple data holders to collaboratively train a model. Compared with centralized learning, distributed training not only scales better to larger data sizes, but also provides greater privacy to participating users. And this is achieved by allowing data holders to retain their private data on their own machines and only share gradient information with the server for model updates. And in this way, distributed learning, especially the emerging federated learning, has been quickly deployed in production for many speech-related tasks, such as speaker verification and keyword spotting. However, recent studies have shown that distributed learning still has privacy risks. Several studies have revealed that image data can be recovered to some extent through the shared gradients in distributed learning, which may pose severe threats to users' data privacy. However, to date, there has been limited exploration of gradient leakage in the speech domain. Compared with image data, speech recordings contain a rich source of personal and sensitive information, such as gender, identity, age, emotion, Thus, we should carefully evaluate distributed learning on speech data to fully understand its potential privacy vulnerabilities. And to fill this gap, in this work, we investigate two research questions. How to recover private speech data from the grid, uh, shared gradients? And what level of private information can be exposed from gradients? In our considered threat model, we assume the adversary cannot interfere with normal federated learning procedure, but has access to the gradients uploaded by each individual client. In practice, the adversary can be an honest but curious server or a malicious analyst that can eavesdrop on the communication channel. And the adversary's objective is to infer private information about the client by attempting to reconstruct the client private speech data. And in general, gradient inversion attacks can be seen of attempting to generate carefully crafted dummy data to match the target gradient. And this can be achieved through minimizing the distance between the dummy gradient and the target gradient. For speech data, it is common that the raw speech signal is first processed into acoustic features, such as male spectrogram or MFCC, and then feed into the neural network. So we design a two-stage reconstruction method for speech data. In the first stage, we reconstruct the 2D feature map by solving the optimization problem to minimize the gradient distance in the model parameter space. And R here is the regularization term, which is total variation in our work. And in the second stage, we try to recover the waveform using the reconstructed feature map obtained in the first stage to approximating STFT magnitude from male spectrogram. As for evaluation, we train a keyword spotting model in distrib uh, distributed learning 
we extracted both mouse spectrogram and MFCCs from the speech data as the front end features. And to evaluate the reconstruction performance, we compare the resulting speech signal recovered from gradients using our method with the original signals using a set of metrics. In the evaluation, we use the results of inverting from the ground truth features as baseline for comparison. From the results, we observe that for a male spectrogram, inverting from gradients has a similar performance as directly inverting from features, and the reconstructed waveform is very close to the original waveform. However, for, M uh, for MFCC, inverting from gradients would induce a relatively larger distortion. And this is potentially because the coefficient values are in decibel scale and has high variance and thus are prone to small perturbations which makes it harder to latch gradient leakage attacks against MFCCs. Here are some audio samples, and this is the common yes from a female speaker. Yes. And this is uh, reconstructed from male spectrogram. Yes. And this is uh, reconstructed from MFCC. Yes. Yeah, you can hear it. This is a slightly worse than male spectrogram. And this is a common yes from a male sp speaker. Yes. And this is a reconstruction from male spectrogram. Yes. And this is a, from MFCC. Yes. We also examined whether the speaker's voice biometrics can be retained through the reconstruction. Specifically, we passed the reconstructed signal and the reference signal into a speaker verification model and report the callsign similarity score of the embeddings and the success rate of the two signals being recognized as the same speaker. From this result, we observed that the speech signals reconstructed from male spectrogram preserve most speakers' voice male biometrics with over 90% chance to pass the speaker. In contrast, speech signals reconstructed from MFCC have a very low probability to be verified as the same speaker. Thank you. Uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions.